guys, so it's been some time since my last vlog and so I thought it's about time to check in. And with that, I also bring happy makeup news uh, from Rumel London. The brand was previously in Singapore and now it's back. And to celebrate the launch, it has created four London inspired uh, makeup looks to re represent the distinct personalities of London's uh, iconic places. So with me, I have quite a big box of goodies new launches to create a day to night look for you guys so watch on I'm using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer and this contains um, yeah it's a mattifying primer so uh, it helps to control shine as well as uh, minimize the appearance of pores to hydrate skin as well so let's let's test drive this baby so it's a white cream texture can see okay so I'm just gonna dot it all over my face and slather this bad boy all over my face okay, it goes on really smoothly it's um it's a bit drier than um, some of the primers I've been using but then again what gives right it's a mattifying primer but it gets um it smooth it smoothens into skin really well and it leaves um it's, it's it doesn't leave a heavy layer of greasiness or 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 um you know that thick annoying layer that sometimes you get when you put too thick of, uh, a skin care product yeah this one doesn't leave um that kind of feeling but it has a really nice um hydration layer as you smoothen it into your skin it's not too bad okay so next up I am going to try the Rimmel London Match Perfect foundation. This is in shade 102 Light Nude and it contains SPF 20. So if you forgot your um, sunscreen, well this works. So it comes in a pump bottle which is good for hygiene purposes. I'm not sure if this is the, the my exact shade so I'm just going to work with it. So what I like to do is usually use a um, Flat Top Kabuki Brush. This is from Singapore's local brand, um, 13 Rushes. Can you see it? Yeah. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in, stipple it, and just rub it all over my face. Cooling gel-like um, texture. Ooh, I love it. It goes on so well on skin, by the way. Okay, I think the shade, strangely, is a tad darker than my usual skin tone. As you can see, it's blending quite nicely. It's not cakey of, it, of any sort, and I would say the coverage is about a high, a medium high. So as you can see, my skin looks like noticeably um, smoother, with quite a bit of my blemishes um, concealed. It's pretty good, yeah. Okay, so I have a, okay, I would say that the finish is kind of like semi-matte. Um, I wouldn't say it's a full matte sort of finish. You can still see um, a bit of my, my acne scars peeping through, but I have some goodies for that. What I'm going to do right now is to divide my face into two, uh, one for the day look and one for the night look. And uh, because I kind of have double of, 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 of the product, so like I have two different concealers, what I'm going to do is try each on both sides of my face and so you can perhaps see the clip, the difference a whole lot better. So this would be the day look, I would say. So the day look, I want a more radiant look, and this is the Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Effect uh, Radiant Glow Concealer. Okay, so it comes in a doe foot sort of applicator style. And so what I do is just I'm going to dab a bit under the eye. Okay, I'm going to dab it over here where my blemishes are. Okay, this looks way light. It looks way lighter than my skin. So I'm still going to try to work with it. Hey, not bad. It's really not too bad at all. I'm having a really bad um, breakout because um, I'm currently about to finish my period, but yeah, I know women, women problems. Okay, uh, the verdict is, I'm not sure if you can see, okay, I think I might need a little bit more around the 
angry because God knows how dark my eye circles are. Okay, I would say because this is way too light for my for my skin tone, like I would use it sort of like to highlight, um, you know, the my face as well. But I, I don't think it would be good as a um, a pimple blemish covering concealer for me because it's usually you would use something with a peach undertone to counteract the the bluish um, the bluish undertone of scars. And this light one is actually, um, in, it, it's actually pronouncing it a whole lot more. But, but like what the name says, it's uh, an anti-fatigue effect. And you can tell the crazy difference between this eye and this eye. My right eye looks so much brighter right now. And okay, so the second one is the Height the Blemish Concealer. This is cute. It looks like a lipstick. So it's a stick concealer and God knows I love stick concealers because of my oily face. I, you can probably use it with your finger. I think I prefer using it with my finger or you could just dry around your eyes. Whatever rocks your boat or eye bags. Okay, so um, it comes out. Ooh, it's really creamy actually. I'm not sure if you can see it. This looks more like... Uh, my skin tone, so I'm just gonna dab around it. Oh yeah. Okay, equally as equally good as the anti fatigue one. Uh, it's doing a good job brightening up my eye. Um, you need a little bit more effort blending it, just slightly more than the the liquid one because it is a stick formula. It's a bit drier in terms of uh, consistency. But as you can tell, my eyes look good. I'm gonna try this on my pimples. This huge mother like me. Oh, oh, ooh, do you see how it disappeared? Do you can't see it anymore. Can you? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's more or less gone. And I have one over here. Oh, good lord, it is so red. Let's do this. Do I have any more? This is so sad. Like, I can see every pore on my face with this camera. Okay. So, yeah. It's not too bad. I think you can still see the acne again, but um, a side note is that the acne is really inflamed so yeah to the best I could I'm trying to conceal it but it's it's doing a pretty good job though next we have two kinds of powder the first one I have is the Rimmel Long Lasting Finish 25 hour powder foundation waterproof buildable cover coverage so uh, it comes in this very cute um, rate packaging and when you open it it looks like this and there's actually a flip up from here. Oh, oh lord, I'm so clumsy. And you have a mirror, a concealed mirror, and a sponge applicator. So it's quite easy um, and quite convenient for touch ups. Whereas the stay matte, uh, the second one I have is the stay matte long lasting press powder. And this is how it looks like. And it looks really good because of the embossing, the really pretty embossing you have inside. It's like a butterfly ribbon thingy. It's pretty. Swirl it around. Pick it up. It does cause a bit of kick up, so do be gentle. I'm gonna just press it down on my face like this. And then just blend it in. Okay, if you go too hard on the press powder, it kinda causes a little bit of kick up, but nothing too major. So I'm gonna set this side on my face. It's very airy. Um, definitely mattifies the, the rather wet looking foundation. I really like this. It's a bit lighter than my skin tone but um, actually it reacts quite nicely with the uh, concealer and foundation previously uh, put on. Okay and now I am going to try the um, lasting finish uh, powder foundation on the left side on my face. This is my so what I'm gonna do is just like gently glide the sponge applicator and uh, okay very much lesser cake up, uh, kick up and this is how it looks like 
And I'm just gonna gently pet. The saving grace of this is that um, it has better coverage, I feel. Like, my blemishes are pretty much gone. Like, I can't really see my blemishes. Next time I'm gonna do my brows because, you know, brows are like the curtains to the eyes, which are the windows to your soul. So it's important and it's very vital for me to do my brows. I have like inferior brow complex. <laughs> so, what I have with me first is the uh, Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Kit. It looks like this. It comes in two shades. So, it's in 002 Medium Brown, which is perfect because I have slightly darker brows and the lightest shade usually doesn't work for me. And um, so, it comes with mini brush applicators. And it comes on one side with a gel um, option and another one with the powder, okay? And I also have for, you know, quick fi fixes, there's this Brow This Way uh, Brow Styling Gel with Argan Oil. Well, argan Oil is really nourishing, so this is good as well. It's a brow mascara style. And I also have the Professional Eyebrow Pencil. So it comes in this very sleek pencil, looks like this, and it comes with a cap with a little uh, brush to, you know, like comb out those unruly strands. Comb up the side of my brows, and I'm just going to sort of shade it in, and I'm just going to comb the should start from like the middle to the end to define your, your, your end, and then you draw from the inside. As you can tell, it's very much more defined. It's really pigmented, so you have to go really slowly. You start with small, light strokes. I'm going to use the brush again just to like fade it out a little because it looks a bit harsh now. Okay, next time I'm going to use the uh, brown mascara. I like my brows thick, like you know, book shields, so this matches it perfectly. Next up, I am going to brush some of the um, the powder first my eyebrows so I'm essentially shading out I'm using this powder side first of the brow kit and kind of buff it through so it has this kind of airbrush um, look about it actually it looks good like this like you know what I'm going to skip the um, gel part because my brows look sleek right now so I don't really think I need to make it looking more harsh I'm actually liking this side, so I think I'm going to go, my vote goes for the powder um, this round. Now that my brows are done, we're going to look at defining my eyes. And I have, um, I have quite a bit of eye products here, so I'm going to go bit by bit. So this is a eye, uh, the Magnify, I'm sorry, this is the Magnify's Eye Contouring Palette by Rimmel London. So I like this a lot. I think it's my pick of the entire lot because look at this gorgeous palette with gorgeous, gorgeous everyday wearable shades. So you have a choice of you know light taupes, um, browns, burgundies, your everyday nude um, shades that is very wearable for day or night. You just need to build up the intensity for it. Okay, so I'm going to use this for my day look because I like it a lot. And uh, for a bit more drama for night, I am going to go with uh, these three products. This is the Scandal Eyes Eyeshadow Stick. Uh, sorry, Eyeshadow Stick Crayon. It's really pretty. So it comes in this really pretty blue, iridescent blue-ish um, shade. This is in the shade 009 Blamed Blue. Blamed Blue. It's cute. And um, next we have here is the Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. This is a bit interesting. So it comes out like an eye pencil. It's 
it's a bit creamy and the cute thing about this is that it has a felt tip at the end of it so you know if you don't like it so defined you can kind of use this part to um, sort of buff it out for a more subtle look which is actually what I love saver of this entire range is the Scandal Eyes Precision Micro Eyeliner. This is how it looks like. Since I started using like eyeliners, I've, I've never veered away from um, liquid eyeliners, especially the felt tip types, because I feel that it gives you really good control, very good in um, reaching the smaller corners of your eye. And so I'm going to start with the day look first. I love the colors. I am going to pick a lighter shade. I shall use this. So I'm going to pick this shade here. It's like a muted gold shade. Girl cannot do without gold. I'm just going to take a simple fluffy eyeshadow brush and just douse it all over my eye. See that uh, the finish is kind of like a satin shimmer. It's very subtle, it's very understated, but it looks beautiful in real life, can you see? Okay. And next up, I'm going to use the applicator that comes with it. I'm going to use the lighter shade. This is a shimmery beige nudie shade. And I'm just going to dab it inside my eye. Just for a little pop. I'm gonna be a bit daring and I'm gonna try the burgundy here. Just a little dab. And I'm just gonna dab it on the corner of my eye. Just for a little bit of shadow. I'm gonna blend it out. Is I'm gonna start with the crayon and I'm gonna just like color in oh my god this is not for the faint hearted because can you see the color on my eye? Let's this is just one application guys. I'm gonna use my finger to blend it out. This is so pretty by the way. I mean I'm not someone who usually wears um bright popish colors but I am liking what I see. So I didn't draw um, it, um, I didn't draw the whole crayon over my eyelid. What I did was just dot it and buff it outwards. So you have this uh, really bright um, faded effect. So what I'm going to do now is line the bottom of my eye. So what I'm doing is to create a um, definition in my um, the lower part of my, my eyelid for a new, uh, more contemporary, modern take on a poppy eye look. So I'm just gonna line this part of my eye. So I'm gonna finish up with my cheeks and my lips. So, um, on this side, I have two kinds of blushers. These are both uh, blush cream blushers. So one is in the shade Regal Rose. It's like a dusty mauve. And the second one is actually 003 Coral Queen. And as the name is self-explanatory, it's a coral. It's a really pretty coral. It looks like this. The other one looks like this. Okay. So you can use a blush applicator or you could use um, your fingers. I think fingers are just going to work fine for me. And I smile and I just dab a bit onto my face. Because it's a cream blush, it can be a bit tricky to work with. So uh, use your moderation, start light and blend it all just in a tapping motion towards your hairline. 
can see, I've only uh, dabbed into uh, the compact twice, and the color is quite, quite obvious and quite pretty. To try uh, the Regal Queen dusty pink one. Pink, pink, the smile. Look for the apple of your cheeks and blend, my friend. Blend. Between the two, I like this shade better though. Like, I don't know. I just love multi dusty pinks. So, okay, you know what's annoying me though? Like, my pimple is huge, and I can see it. That's the thing, you know. Like, when you apply uh, blushes on your pimple, it gets compoundedly big. I think to make for um, camera purposes, I'm going to intensify this side because you can't really see it. So the color looks like this, and then you blend it out in circular motion towards the cheek. Last but not least, we have... Um, okay, sorry, not the last yet. I have mascaras to show you guys, but here are two lipsticks that I've gotten as well. So this one is in in a red cute packaging and uh, this is in the shade Salute it looks like this the packaging is really pretty with the embossing of the logo here and this is in the shade Salute very cute, very beautiful wearable everyday shade again it's in a dusty rose pink whereas the second one I have is in a similar packaging except that it's in black with the same embossing and this is in the shade Cheeky Coral okay so um, what I am going to do is to use the coral on the day look and the dusty rose on the night look okay, so here we go oh wow because I don't like my face to, I don't like my face overly made up, and I don't like too strong a color. I'm only gonna put it on the top, um, my top lip, and then just bite down. And this is the uh, dusty rose shade. The wonderful wake me up um, mascara it's so bright and pretty <laughs> and it comes with um, infused with vitamins and cucumber so um, even your lashes get hydrated and it also gets nourished at the same time well the second one is the waterproof wonderful mascara with argan oil it's very thoughtful that Rimmel does makeup that has um, additional nourishment. So not only are you beautifying yourself, you still, you still have that aspect of uh, skin care as you apply it. So Ooh, look at that. Oh my god. I mean, my lashes are long to begin with, but this is really good. Like, look how long my lashes are getting. Lengthen. Dude, this is surreal. Like... I've only done one one application. Okay, let's try the other one. And this is the wonderful waterproof one. Okay, I find that this consistency is a little bit more thicker, a bit more wet as well. And the mascara hit looks like this. Gonna... Between the two, I found I, I think the wake me up is a lot more lengthening, but this one seems to make my lashes look much fuller. Can you notice? And I think it opens up my lashes a whole lot better for that sort of like dolly look. Oops. There we go. So this is my everyday uh, look to go. We have a subtle definition to eyes and flushed cheeks. And this is my night look. I like the fact that I used a lighter blush and lip to balance out the heaviness of my eye. It looks wearable even for day. And there you have my two looks uh, with Ramel London. Thank you for watching. If you like what I've done, um, subscribe to the button below and give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.